Right then, hello everyone, welcome to um, another P3D meme. <laughs> okay, hello, welcome, my name is Adam, and today we are doing a... No, actually, scrap that one. Well, hang on. Take two. <laughs> hello everyone, welcome, my name is Adam, and welcome to uh, another virtual pilot life license. Today we're tackling the commercial pilot license. Um, and if you're new to, uh, to the channel, uh, look in the description box below, there's some links to some cheap gaming and where you can join virtual pilot life yourself so action right okay so today's commercial pilot license guys um the the commercial pilot license which uh for anybody interested looks like that when i when i receive it won't be today though um there's there's 10 lessons or there's 10 kind of like tasks you have to do to satisfy the license um, and th there's various aircrafts at which they are at which you can choose so for the first five a exams or tasks it has to be a twin pro prop engine plane and I've chosen this uh, C47 uh, which is a conversion of the DC3 um, this is actually Robert Randazzo's plane to be honest um, this livery, uh, Pan American Tabitha May. In fact, he flew this to uh, America, I believe, or no, you know, flew this to Europe from America um, on some some Matt's YouTube channel. Um, you can go check it out. Him and a few other people um, from PMDG went on this mega epic trick. It took him like a week or so. It was really fun to watch. Um, so yeah, I've chosen that for the twin engine prop. Then. Um, four, let me see, one, two, three, four, for four more of the, uh, like, tasks or, you know, exams or whatever, I have to choose a four-engine propeller plane. So, there's a few options there. I could use the DC-6 or the DC-7 or, um, the, dash, the DH, um, the Haviland 7, I think it is as well so there's a few options there and then the final uh, exam bit is basically take off and land in a boeing or airbus jet aircraft and then i'll receive my license but i have to have a special landing rating for every single one of these um now the good thing about the commercial pilot license is you can actually condense it down so even though there's 10 say lessons um, I can condense the first four into one flight, which is take off in a twin engine propeller and go to straight and level. That's just satisfying one of the uh, requirements. Number two is VOR, uh, hold in a twin engine prop over an airport. That's that's going to be easy, isn't it? Um, number three is do a VOR approach uh, with a procedural turn in a twin engine prop. Number four is do an ILS approach straight in and a twin engine prop, and number five, an ILS approach with 10 minutes of holding with a procedural turn and a twin engine prop. So basically, the first five requirements for my commercial license, I can actually satisfy in this one flight. So what I've done is I've got us going, let me, uh, actually, no, I'll look that up. I've got us going from Washington, the Ronald Reagan Airport here, and then I've got as a VORing up to a couple of points here. At the point here, I'm going to do a 10 minute holding pattern, okay, before coming down and then into New York where the ILS uh, hold will also take place and um, the approach and basically all the requirements for this we're going to satisfy, you know, no worries. Um, there's some advisories. So basically, the um, landing rating has to be minus 175 or better in order to pass. Um, if I don't get 175, I've, I have to do this all over again. So that is that, basically. So I have filed a flight plan with the uh, simulator, but uh, which is, I don't get why I've decided to do this. It says here, um, you must have a private pilot, solo flight instrument rating, and multi-engine cargo transport certificate to continue with this license. Um, 
choose your aircraft um, and it, it gives you some options DC3, a Fokker 28 or a Vickers Viscount is most ideal. No ATC is allowed except on landing for the ILS. That's just a bit weird, isn't it? So basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to register with ATC at the airport and then cancel, once I take off, cancel my, f my flight plan and have a flight following until I get to the ILS and then they can pick me back up for uh, the approach, I guess. So, I mean, that's the only way I can sort of handle that. It's a bit weird. So, um, weather looks interesting. Now, this, this plane isn't pressurized one bit. Let me just move that out of the way. The plane isn't pressurized, so we can only go as high as 15,000 feet in this puppy. That is it. We can't go any higher, I'm afraid, because uh, basically, ooh, hello. Basically, we won't be able to breathe um, higher above that. So uh, it's not pressurized, sadly. So now, got a nice little checklist system here. And this checklist system, by the way, is very similar to what uh, it's going to look like in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, where you'll get like, you can literally just click, 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 and then the actions will be performed. Or once you get inside um, the plane, you can actually do the actions yourself. So I thought we yeah, would use this just so I could show it. Um, now, let me see here. GSX, do you work? No, you don't. It's too small. My aircraft is too small. So here we are. Now, guys, this honestly, in my humble opinion, is the best freeware you'll ever get, right? This is totally awesome. I mean, it's got really unique sounds. It's even got a dude who does a little bit of voice work. Um, as you're clicking things and starting her up. I mean, this this freeware, guys, is it looks legitly great. I mean, look at the textures on this. And I'm not even running 4K textures. I'm just running 2K. And honestly, this is like, there's Marilyn Monroe. This honestly looks really good, you know? So, here we go. We are in, um, where did I say we were? Ronald Reagan Airport, that's it. Ronald Reagan Airport, guys. Um, so I suppose we better fight, get this bird firing up here. So park and brake is set. Check. That's already done. So basically, we need to whack the battery on, which is up here. So let's, if we click that, see the battery flicks on. Then the generators need to go on. So double click that and the generators go on. Uh, we need the beacon light, nav lights, cabin signs, and it put the ignition master on. Okay. Um, right, so fuel quantity, check the tanks. Let's see. Fuel tanks are somewhere down here, I think. Uh, anybody see the fuel tanks, man? Right main, left main. Right, that's the fuel tank there. It's just one gauge. Right, okay. Furry muff, right? Fuel selectors, uh, left and right. There we go, and then we'll have to swap that over as we go along. So, right, we've done that. Uh, carburetor here trimmed to zero. Yep, that's already done for us. Uh, mixture idle cutoff, which it is. Yes, throttle cracked open a little bit. Okay, check. Um, prop full forward. That's my reverser. Uh, which one's the prop on this? That's the prop in it. Full forward. But if we double click it, oh, they both go up. Okay. Flight controls uh, are free and working, and and clunky as hell. Look at that. Right then. We've done that. Next, fuel pump. We're going to do the right engine. So we're going to start the right engine first, and then so we're going to fuel pump it up. There we go, and then while that's pumping, we start the engine. Okay, we have to count 16 turns. 16, right, okay. Magneto's on both, mixture auto rich, and then prime that sucker, okay, until it starts. Keep it going, keep it pressing, until it fires, as it fired. Boom. She's purring. There you go. Now we've started. Oh, yeah, baby. There 
there she goes. Man, that's so loud, that is. Let's turn that down a little bit. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be deaf by the end of this. <laughs> right, that's the, that's the one engine done, guys. Let's do the next one here. So, fuel pump. Same, same ordeal, basically. It's all happening up here. Starter. Right. That one there. Uh, count the 16 turns. Magneto's turned on. Mixture auto rich. Right. Oh, don't mess with that, man. Don't mess with that. Auto rich the mixture. There we go. Prime it. Prime it. There we go. It's starting. Go on fire. Boom. She's done. She is done. Right, so that's uh, the checklist done. So we can get rid of that now. How do I get rid of it? Close. I hope this is louder than the engines. Alright. Right, let's tune in for clearance. Request a VFI. A bit weird, isn't it? Cleared to new work. Maintain 13,000. Now, I've got to remember, this is the autopilot switch here. Um, tail wheel, tail wheel lockers off. I've got to remember that. Yep, got you, mate. Roger, roger. Now, it's, it's so funny, because look at this. On the checklist here, the before taxi checklist, inverter's on. But in order to taxi, you need to get clearance. So they already have to be on. Surely that's these need to be in part of the setup here. Surely. Uh, magnetos check the both. Uh, yep, both slip to both. Fuel pumps are off. Um, oh no, fuel pumps up here. Sorry. Uh, fuel pumps are off. And tail wheel is unlocked, which they are. Flaps up. Yep, flaps are up. Mixture is auto rich, which it is. And brakes are checked. Well, brakes are on, yeah. Hey! Polynesian pinball. Polynesian pinball, mate. Thank you so much for joining, mate. First class passengers, that's the, that's the view you get. First class passengers, you're in the back of the plane. And you're going to be joining us on this trip. We're going to New York City, guys. All right. Right. Brakes off. Now this is super weird the way this is steered because you haven't got control uh, over steering properly because this is a tail dragger plane. So the steering isn't done like a normal plane. You use your throttle um, and your and your brakes to basically turn. Super weird. Basically, I mean, on the ones you got the two engines, and then you're obviously turning the plane. Now, where is uh, the runway? Contact ground when ready to taxi. Yeah, we better get some taxi. Zigzag also to see ahead. Zigzag to see ahead. Oh, do you know what? All right, then, Roger on that, mate. Do GSX still gonna give us a jib? There we go. <coughs> Runway one. Uh, follow me, yes, please. There we go. So we just wait for the follow me vehicle now, which will be interesting with this plane. Could be fun, isn't it? I'm trying to follow this dude in this plane. Come on, dude, are you going or what? You driving? There we go. Come on. It's going to 
gonna take ages, man, to taxi this beast. DC-3, this is the, well, it's a DC-3 conversion. It's the uh, C-47 Skytrain, so basically DC-3. Um, but yeah, this is total freeware, guys. You can go get it on the Rico website, totally free. Honestly, it's the best freeware you'll ever have. Where's he gone? There he is. We're going to New York City, guys. We're going to go see the Statue of Liberty. And I've got to land this puppy with a minus 175 rating or better. So, <laughs> with my landings, guys, eh? With my landings. Where is he gone? I hope he's not... There he is. Dude, whoa, whoa. This puppy does not turn easy, by the way. Honestly, you gotta really finagle the controls. Yeah, this puppy go. Where is he gone? Shit, where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Come on. Dude is zigzagging. Is that what you meant when you said zigzagging all over the place, mate? This dude's zigzagging me. What's going on, man? He's the zigzag man. Is this where we hang on, is this the runway? I think we need to get permission first. Ground control to Major Sam. Requesting clearance takeoff. My engines are on. Landing lights on. Clear for takeoff, boys. Roger that. Let's get on that runway. Guys, this is going to be such an interesting flight because um, it's got very basic autopilot, this has. So this is another hand-flying job across the uh, the Milky Way. All right. All right. Well, we've got some beautiful visuals, guys. It's daytime, but it's cloudy, though. Um, and we'll be flying at about 10,000 feet. Uh, 15,000 feet, sorry. Right. Brake on. Right, let's just sit here for a second. Cow flaps on. Let me set those cow flaps. Uh, I don't know why they're always all the way over here, like. Cow flaps, uh, 50%, I'd say. Oh, let's do it 100. That's it. Cow flaps are done. Landing lights are on. Pitot heaters are on. Fuel pumps are pumping. Check. Tail wheel is locked. Check. Um, man, we're ready. Right, here we go, boys. I hope that tail wheel is uh, sorted anyway, because otherwise we're just going to be going mental. Right. Engines up. And roll. Here we go, boys. Come on now. Give it to me now. She's rattling. She's rolling. Here we go. That's it. That's it. We're forward. We're at the first stage of takeoff gone forward so now we're flying like this I don't know if that means anything to anybody right we can now attempt a little push-up we're airborne guys we're airborne boom wheels up wheels up there they go up okay we're clear so that's it power Hundred. Uh, we need to actually go be about eighty, so we can afford a bit more attitude. There we go. Right. I'm 
I'm going to put the autopilot, which is basic. Um, it basically uh, takes, I think, the... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, dudes. I'm going to put that off. I've got to remember how this autopilot works. I'm going to have to hand fly this. Alright, turn into departure. We're going to cancel our, our plan anyway, to be honest. So. Cancelling our air fire, mate, so. Alright. Yep, confirm cancellation. We're doing it ourselves. Squawk 1200. I need to change my squawk. Don't know how I'm going to do that while I'm flying the plane. Right, uh, that'll do me. Right, so we need to now set our VOR up. The first uh, one, which was. you can micro set that That's it. The autopilot, I believe, only it flaps up. Only holds your altitude. So um, I thought it held your pitch. To be fair, but I think it only holds your altitude. So right, I need to. It's got no compass on. Oh no, compass is here. Right, I think we need to turn. We're going sort of like that way. So that's like north uh, east. So, I think we need to do a turn here. Let's do a turn to kind of like northeast. Man, I'm going to have to go by the force, I think, on this. Right, that's not northeast. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. It is, yeah. So, 060. That should, we'll, we'll just say 060 for now. do. So we'll just keep this heading for a bit and I'll just come up with something because I need to know. <laughs> I need to I need to be able to use with the VOR equipment but for some reason I can't tune this into the correct station. Man it's like it doesn't allow that fine tune to, to say two instead of 
I mean, that is correct, isn't it? Hang on, let's just double check with our chart. We're going to this one here. Which is, yeah, oh no, 1120, sorry. That's why. Boom, right, now we're cooking. Right. Um, so I'll just give it a little bit of seconds, and then when this catches up, and then I'll we'll start to find out what the, what the actual heading is. even if this works. I don't think that works. Great. <laughs> Guys, what happens when you can't work the... Uh, I mean, that should, that should actually start flipping in tune to my uh, navigation, shouldn't it? I mean, I don't think turning the DME on is going to do anything, to be honest. Um, but this should, like, in relation to the, the nav that I've set. Have I set it right? Did I activate it or something? Do I need to... Uh this heading um, at the end of the day I just have to oh, I don't know man like use the like just I uh, yeah <laughs> there's no like turn on the feel the thingy navigation is there there's no like there's no button that I'm not pressing is there oh hang on down here. VOR2, VOR1. Is that what I've done? A zero six zero heading here. There we go. Stop annoying me, ATC, mate. Oh, here it is. Here, I could use this one here. 
Do you know what? I, I remember flying this once, but I haven't flown it in ages. Oh, the anthem came off again. It's off. It's been such a long time since I flew this plane. Right, I'm gonna keep a 060 heading. Whoa, what the hell? to um, 15,000 feet. So how is everybody doing, guys? How is everybody, eh? Me, I'm doing my um, commercial pilot's license, guys. Look at that. Whoa. Beautiful down there, isn't it? Keep this zero six. I, I, why doesn't the OBS work? Does anybody know why this OBS ain't working? I should be able to sort of. I mean, I'm going zero six zero. That that shouldn't like do anything for the heading I'm trying to keep. Of course, again. Set this all up correctly here. There you go guys, that's your view. First class passengers, if you're following me, that's what you get. Right. I need to climb up here. Uh, oh, that's all a mixture, I don't have to worry about that. So, 15,000 feet, that's what we're looking for. I'm doing well, just finished a flight. And enjoy, all right, you're doing that. Where did you go, Polynesia? That sounds like I answered my own question then. Just got it into Midway. Nice, nice, yeah. Not too far from where we're heading then, Chicago, New York, is it? You got some sure lucky you. The hell was that? The hell? What are the pilots talking here? You guys hear that? Flaps, man. I never closed them off. Oh dear. In fact, you know what? We never really performed our after takeoff checklist, did we? Let's do that now. So, um, after takeoff, climb, throttle, yeah, prop, pitched, airspeed, mixture, fuel pumps off. Um, I mean, we keep them on until we hit uh, our cruise, don't we? Takeoff checklist anyway, passing 1,000 feet. So, uh, landing lights off. 
James two or that four five is now aboard. James mate, thanks for the follow. Engines are getting hot, guys. Um, I know they're supposed to do something about this. Um, we'll just have to reduce the throttle for now, mate. See if that helps them. Um, throttle green. Make sure auto lean, which we own trail. Oh, power flaps. Mate, that's what it is. It's not the props, is it? Bloody idiot. I bet he closed off the cow flaps. Hang on, put them back up again. We need to keep them buddy open. During the climb. Bloody hell, man. I'm gonna nuke us all. Right, we're, f we're, we're fine for our uh, heading, I feel. We're uh, coming up to 10,000. We're trying to aim for 15. The uh, it's beautiful out there. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's a good day for flying. Global Vector. That's right, guys. Global Vector is now available for version five. And I'm not going to touch it. Trust me, you don't want to. You don't get the elevation airport elevator, uh, which is the only reason I'd, I'd have air global uh, orbit vector, whatever it's called. <laughs> but I use orbit. I use black marble vector. So um, if I used orbex, I'd be having two different uh, bits of information going in the sim, and it would just slow it right down. The vector from black marble is 100% accurate to real life. The uh, notes that I've read on, on their vector information basically has stated that they're using the same information from version 4. Um, so there's no increase in that data and I know that their data is not complete. So for me, it's totally not worth getting it. Because I've already got something that's better. So, right, I think we need to trim up here. Uh, we're losing the ability to climb here. I mean, these propellers are going full wacko. Sixty miles an hour, man. We're going actually really slow, so I got to be careful here. Going to stall the sucker out. Um, we need to put the props that we feel onto the, uh, we need to shimmy these down a bit here. Is an external view. Um, I don't know, guys. Hang on. We're losing power here, guys. Fuel pumps back on. Maybe that'll help. I mean, to be honest, I can't get her off over 10,000 feet. I do feel like I want to enable this. But auto mixture should automatically lean that off. Auto lean should automatically do that for me. There we go. I don't think it was. I don't think it was on auto lean. Uh, here's an external view. Oh, it's a NAF one, isn't it? There you go. How's that? I don't like the external views, to be honest, because, A, it's not real, and, oh, got to see the instruments. 
Hey, Captain Michael, how's it going, man? Hey, I like, I tell you, Captain Michael, I like your font that you've used in my Discord. It's pretty cool, like. Oh, hang on, we're stalling here. Do you know what? I can't get her past 10,000. How you doing? Um, I'm all right. I'm doing my commercial pilot license at the moment. Um, trying to this old ancient bird here. Uh, the VOR stuff I can't get going to be honest. So we're uh, we're heading to New York City. Um, looking pretty uh, pretty nice out there. It's, uh, weather looks okay. It's um, yeah. I'm just trying to get her beyond 10,000 feet, to be honest. But she's uh, fighting me. She's, uh... in the ground. There we go. Oh, we're way off course here. Hang on, let me turn back on course. It's Nancy chat. Nancy's on. Using True Sky, I am indeed, mate. I am indeed. Uh, hang on a second here. I need to get back on course without killing us. It's gonna be a long one, I feel. It's gonna. <laughs> I mean, the flight in itself, I don't think is that long. Um, what's the ETA? flight plan. A couple of hours. Come on. Get over there. It's supposed to be an IFR this is, but it's turning into a VFR because I can't get this OBS thing to work. So I don't know the direction that I should be heading in for New York City. I'm just basically get eyeballing it and guessing because I know where New York City sits in relation to Washington. <laughs> That's the way I'm doing it, but I should have chose a plane where the instruments are, I know how to work properly. But I, oh, hang on, what's that down there? VOR2, is that? Does that work any better? Anybody knows how uh, to use the uh, VOR OBS on the, on this aircraft? Please feel free to let me know. Where are we heading? New York City. Hey, hey. We're going to New York. Newark Airport. We just took off from um, Ronald Reagan. We're heading over to Newark and hopefully get a nice tour of uh, New York as we get in there because... The route we're taking goes not straight away, direct. We're going up above New York and then coming back down. So we should get a nice tour of the uh, the buildings and stuff. So, but right now I'm trying to get us to this station here. Um, 1100.2, whatever. But unfortunately, oh, hang on, here we go. Look, GPS here. Uh, 35, 40 degrees, 35. That's not too far off. I have to go by GPS. I think this has got a GPS thing on board, actually. Let's have a look here. There it is. Wow. Maybe we should use this then instead. But the whole point is to VOR it, not to GPS it. You know what I mean? I mean, way off course. Actually, it does. No, I seem to be really off course. Now, let's, let's, let's. Oh, I don't know. I don't really want to use this GPS. I mean, don't know. Eleven 
thousand feet. Trying to climb up to fifteen. There was another model of this plane that I could have used, um, which was the C one one seven, which had this integrated into it. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to use. I don't want to use this actually because it's. Let's say another way. I'm, I am going towards the VOR point, so yeah, we'll keep that up. Let's just get back on our flight plan. As so we get up to 15 thou. I think that's Washington State down there. climbing slowly. Hey, MS, how's it going, mates? We're all right. We're doing a commercial pilot's license. We're heading up to um, New York City from uh, Washington. And it's a beautiful looking landscape out there. So we're just trying to get back on course here. Uh, ETA, 11.56, which is less than an hour. Now this must be a short flight, short flight then or something. You missed the start of the DC-3 flight. Well, don't worry, mate. This is just the um, my commercial license. So I think we might be flying this puppy. Um, next Thursday as part of the world tour. Who knows? Or we might do a variation on this. Because uh, if this ain't got a proper autopilot, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm not interested. Did I, did I did tune that incorrectly, didn't I? 110.10. That's, that is correct. I just don't know why it's not showing up on the old... There's your view, guys, right there. Boom. Actually, I'll tell you what it'll be. Oh, I can. Shove that somewhere else. That's your view. I better get back in the cockpit, though. That's a loser, I think. New York should be a right interesting approach, I feel. Very nice. That was a long road, isn't it? We're heading down. That's not good. Coming up to 13 thou. We're almost at our top. up to 15 if not I'll have to settle for 13 <laughs> it's free add-ons of Rico that's right yeah if you just literally go to the Rico website and type in C47 this will come up and it's the beta 314 um, it is compatible with uh, version 5 but I don't think I've installed the version 5 actually probably that's why we're radio stuff don't work I've still this is still the version 4 one this is it just works so I don't I never bothered with it like changing it. Do you know what? I don't think I can get us any higher, guys. I think it's just conking out here. 
So it's gonna have to be settled for 13,000 feet, I guess. So let's uh, let's level her off. get her spot on because then we can put our uh, thingy on and then all we have to do is play with the uh, I'm sure it's the course button you play with to change by the way right so that should lock in but it doesn't for whatever reason why is it pitching up enough to use these though, so maybe we're not high enough. speed here. Losing power on our engines, man. What's going on? Auto lean. So it shouldn't be anything to do with that. Full full whack on the old uh, thingy. Hey, Washington State is on the west coast. This is Virginia. Hey, we on about Washington D.C. Sorry. 
is what I meant. Oh, do you know what? What the hell is going on with our plane? We've completely lost power in our plane. We're going down, guys. I can't gain, regain power back in my plane. The hell? Whoa, whoa, man. Whoa, man. What's going on, man? Why have we lost sudden power in our plane? Like, the engines are just dying on me for some reason. Whoa, complete loss of power. Oh, sugar. One starting up. Yeah, man, let's get this engine bloody going again, man. Um, starter, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Engine two is turning. Is it? Not bloody hearing it, mate. Come on. Engine one starting up. Fuel pumps are running. going, mate. Dudes, we're a glider at the moment. What's going on? Engine one starting up. It's a little problem, isn't it? Yeah. Dude's not bloody. Engine one starting up. That doesn't move properly, that doesn't. Guys, we're gonna have to land. So my engines are bloody duffed. Not turning. Come on. Engine one starting up. We've got dead engines, guys. Right, I need a, I need a place to land quick. What have we got? We got nothing. There it is. We'll land there. Alright. Flaps. Oh, we haven't got any electrics, guys. We've lost all electrics now. Dudes, we're just a dead stick here. Gear's going down. Gear, yeah, but pretty, better, better get the gear down, dude. Right. Gear down. Green lights. Well, you got the gear down, alright then. Got no flaps, guys. Dive bomb that runway. You can't dive bomb if you ain't got any power. Guys, we're dead. We're dead. We just died. This falls under non plane <laughs> Mate, we're dead. Honestly, never mind a bird off the ground. Been dead. Fail, guy. That's a complete fail, that is. In my book. <laughs> Don't know about yours, guys. But. Shit. Ha <laughs>